Now, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, you get them tatted on your leg, but they don't come from where you come from. They don't, they don't look how you look. They don't rock the jewelry that you rock. They're very, um, they got the humble swag. They're not flashy like you. You always speak and say that you want to be a billionaire, but are you willing to give up that flashy lifestyle you have? Because there aren't any flashy billionaires for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the thing. I feel like once you get to a certain level of life, um, like where I'm at, when you get to the billionaire stage, it's a, it's, it's a certain type of flashiness. So they're, they're, what we think isn't flashy is flashy to them. So their two, $300 million uh, mansion and their five, $6 million Richard Mill or $10 million Richard Mill with no diamonds and all that, that's their stunt. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a complex. That, that private jet that they bought, that uh, $20 million, well, $100 million yacht, you know what I mean? It just don't seem too crazy to us because, you know what I mean? It's rappers, the way that we are, we, we're just more flashy. But yeah, I feel like to be a billionaire, I'm going to definitely get to that point, you know what I'm saying, soon. Just like Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? People, you, Jay-Z has that same type of, it's a humble flex, but it's just like they flex. You know what I mean? It ain't the big chains. It ain't this, that. It's the $6 million Richie. It's the, you know, suits. It's, the, it's calm, but it's, you know he ain't capping with the crib. You know he ain't capping with the cars. Same thing. Right. Because you know Zuckerberg, uh, the owner of Facebook, yeah. he wears the same shirt every day. It's like a gray, dark blue shirt. And they look like $10 Walmart shirts, but they're actually $400 t-shirts. Yeah. No, I mean... And he wears the same shit every day. I, I say this, bro. Um, a lot of them got their strategies of how they do it, but I guarantee you, bro, they live in superly good. Like, And also... Some people got certain ways that they want to portray to the to the to the public, but you never know how they would like. Not saying he dressing all crazy when he go out, but he don't want to like. Okay, let's say if he did pop out with a Gucci shirt, everybody gonna judge him for it, or he probably feel like shit. All these designer brands, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. You gotta pay me, or I'm wearing the same shirt every day. It's a good way to get sponsorships because they be like, hey, bro, you think a company don't want to pay him to wear for him to wear their shirt? So. He has to even watch what he, he's so major, he has to watch what he wears. So it's not just <laughs> he don't want to wear, it's like you you became a real public figure and you're a real billboard at this point. But, but, but you don't think that Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, they, they may have seen your tattoo and they may be laughing at you. They may be looking at you like, look at this nigger um, with all this jewelry on, uh, Tatting my name because he made pennies off of my company. You don't think they are laughing at you? I mean, <clears throat> this is the thing. I think like this. It's either yes or no because, like, for instance, I seen Elon with Kanye, right? And I was like, okay, I know they got some plans. They got something going on. And I know the money that I made is decent. So it's not like, it's not like, um, Cause like I said, you know, you got to get to a certain status before people want to rock with you. So I feel like Elon wouldn't have been with Kanye if he wasn't a billionaire. You get what I'm saying? So they feel like if you work your way up, all right, cool, you can hang out with me. So as me, I got a lot of work to do, but as far as like my tattoo, it's not like I did it strictly for them. I just did it for me, for my motivation to, to, to manifest myself being to that next level. Because how I got to this level was strictly manifesting. Like, you know what I mean? So if you're looking at something every day, that's just like if you draw something down or you if you save something in your phone as a screensaver and you know, I'm going to see myself riding in a Lamborghini. I used to tell myself this when I was locked up. I used to say, I'm going to have all this money. I'm going to have millions of dollars. It was, it was all manifestation. I wrote it down all the time. Now look at my life. You know what I mean? If you fast forward it. So I use my visions like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if I see these people, I'm like, man, I, I'm going to get like that. I'm going to... You're going to study, you're going to research what they did, who they connected with. You know what I mean? Like all that, you just use, you use certain things for motivation. Let's say you meet Elon Musk, you meet Jeff Bezos. They treat you like shit. What do you do with those tattoos? They treat me like shit. Um... Or you may meet them and it may not be what you expect. They may be really short with you. They may, you know. I mean, like I say, treat you like shit. They may be have an attitude with you. What do you so, do? So, 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 listen. Um, as far as this, 
Or let's say if they treat me like shit. Basically, I mean, I can't take away that I made money with them. But uh, the tattoos can easily be done. Like, they're just like if you get guys be having girls tattooed on them. And they might, they might have a girl tattooed on them, but then they might put a gun on the side of the girl with it. You know what I mean? Of uh, shooting a girl or just whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so much can be done with tattoos the way that you can alter them. So if I did something like that, it'd be, it'd have to be something like that versus like if they treated me like real shit, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I don't really see myself coming and being like a super fan type of person. I feel like myself grinding to that next level and building up enough respect for another person that got the same amount of money to respect me. Cause you just never know what could happen with a person. Like you never know. I could catch them or I could be a person that's worth a couple hundred million dollars couple hundred billion dollars the same way they was they they was just like us bro you know what i'm saying and they they caught a break they came up with an idea and they ran with it and it made them super rich